Hey everyone, it's Dr. Crad. Today I will be performing cataract surgery for this patient with 22 cut RK. I'll show you my approach since there is no space for a main incision in the cornea. She underwent 22 cut RK 30 plus years ago and the spacing between the cuts are a bit irregular. The one millimeter paracentesis incision fits in between two RK cuts, but just barely. But the main incision will definitely not. So I plan to go through the sclera. There needs to be a lip of sclera between my main incision and the RK cuts. The lip of the sclera or the tunnel length should be at least one millimeter. There are different approaches to creating a scleral tunnel. Some perform a large conjunctival pyridomy with scissors, but I simply make a groove through the conjunctiva and partially through the sclera. Here I make two passes at the groove because I don't think my first one is deep enough. If the scleral tunnel is too superficial, it won't be effective. I contemplated where to put my main incision. If I put it here on the left, I'll be getting close to two of the RK cuts. And if I put it on the right, I'll also be getting close to two of the RK cuts. So I decide to go right underneath one of the RK cuts, so I'm only risking the one. The scleral lip from the scleral tunnel should protect the RK cut from becoming radialized from the main incision. This will only be effective if your incision through the sclera is deep enough. If you're too superficial, that scleral lip will not have strength, and then you can just radialize into that RK incision. So we just finished the capsule erexis, and now we're going to hydrodissect and then start taking out the cataract. The case is very routine so far, and I don't see any chemosis by the main incision. Whether you chop or divide and conquer, use whatever technique you're most comfortable with and whatever is most appropriate for the cataract. Here I'm noticing some chemosis on the left side. I'm going to address it in a second, and I'll let you know how to prevent it. The only other adjustments to make are to lower your bottle height a little bit so the eye pressure doesn't build up too much to stress the RK incisions. And because a large conjunctival pyridomy was not made, there is a risk of chemosis or conjunctival swelling at the incision site. If you see this, a little snippet with scissors will resolve it, and the earlier this is performed the better. This could have been prevented if I made a wider groove through the conjunctiva on the left side of my incision from the very beginning. And here we're going to complete removing the cataract. During the procedure, you can see this white lip of sclera right between the corneal limbus and my incision. This is protecting the RK cut. It's preventing my main incision from radializing into the RK cut. But make sure this scleral lip is thick and you're not making your tunnel too superficial. After removing the cortex, polishing and flushing the posterior capsule to make sure it's as clean as possible, we expand the capsular bag with cohesive viscoelastic and then insert the lens. This patient chose a basic monofocal lens. My favorite lenses for these types of cases are the LAL and ICA Aptera. In my opinion, they are the best lens implants for patients who have had RK before. Other good lens implants are ones with extended depth of vision because as you know patients with RK they can have fluctuating vision so getting that broader depth of vision is very helpful. If a patient does not complain of significant light sensitivity prior to surgery I usually go with the LAL but if they have significant light sensitivity and glare I go with the IC8 Aptera. Here's the patient one day after surgery. They are very happy with their vision it's much better than before. It's currently 20-40 without glasses in the distance. Of course, patients with RK, their eyes take a long time to heal and stabilize after surgery. Fortunately, with a simple scleral tunnel, this potentially complex case became routine. As always, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate your attention. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.